Yo, what is good, Knicks Nation? Welcome back to Knicks Media. This is Richie, and in this video, I want to give you guys my thoughts of the Knicks versus Bucks game that just got wrapped up. The Knicks pull off a crazy comeback and defeat the defending NBA champions on their home court, and the Knicks win this game with a final score of 113 to 98. What a victory from the Knicks! Because this first quarter, I was like, "Wow, we're about to lose three straight." Everything was going downhill. What's going on? And when are we going to break out of this funk? But the Knicks, outside of that first quarter, absolutely demolished the Milwaukee Bucks. If you combine the three quarters, we outscored them by like 30 plus points. So shout out to the Knicks. Tom Thibodeau cannot wait to break down this game. So guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. And if you want to check me out over on Instagram and Twitter, that is at NYNicks underscore media. And if you enjoyed the video, please do not forget to thumbs it up. With that being said, let's get right into the recap, guys. So first and foremost, we got to start about this first quarter, man. Grayson Allen just turned into Steph Curry. I feel like anybody that versus the Knicks always has to have their career nights against us. And Grayson Allen could not miss. And not only him, but the entire Milwaukee Bucks team in the first quarter was raining threes. The defense was lackadaisical from the Knicks. Um, we could not find a rhythm. And we're outscored 38-19 to in that first quarter. But then, in the second quarter, the offense finally clicks. And who is the reason why we won this game? Derek Rose having his breakout performance of this season for the New York Knicks. He single-handedly came into this game, slowed everything down, got the offense uh, together, the defense are playing well. Derrick Rose absolutely took over this game and willed them back to win. He was not the only reason why we won. There's a lot of other factors I'll get into, but he was a huge part coming off the bench. This bench unit as a whole really ignited them. We're coming off a very disappointing performance from the bench unit last game. So for Derrick Rose to come off the bench and do what he did tonight is a very good sign for not only him, but this entire team that, guys, the reason why we have Kemba Walker and Derrick Rose is because, hey, Kemba Walker has been off a couple of nights. So now we, re we rely on Derrick Rose, and that's a very good thing that we don't have to rely on one point guard where if, if one of them is off, then the entire team is going to be off. That's the best thing about tonight, in my opinion. Kemba Walker has been struggling. He has been struggling tonight. He only played 15 minutes. And Tom Thibodeau, he read the hot hand. He gave D. Rose 30 minutes of action like he should. And Derrick Rose did such a great job. You also got to give so much credit to this entire Knicks defense because the defense has been really lacking days ago all season long. They've been regressing if you compare them to last season. And in the first quarter in this game, it felt like one of those games where we're just giving up wide open contested threes. Where's the intensity? Where's the transition defense? Where's that effort? Where's that grinding? games out that we're used to well it showed up in the second third and fourth quarter about damn time the defense was absolutely sensational we held the bucks to 25 points in the second quarter we held them to 20 points in the third quarter and then we held them to 15 points in the fourth quarter that's just phenomenal defense i feel like this was the first game this season where we won similarly to how we were winning so many games last year by grinding it out by outworking them by playing with 100 intensity nerds noel deserves so much credit for locking down Giannis in that second half he did a great job with the long arms, poking the ball free. Uh, Randall did a great job as well, defensively and offensively. RJ Barrett had another great game. So this is just a really good overall performance from the Knicks, from them to show the heart that even though we're down by 21 points, it doesn't matter because we have confidence in ourselves, in our system, in our intensity, and our head coach to will your way back and to dominate the rest of this game. That was an awesome performance from the Knicks. We are now 6-3, and three, heading to the uh, game against the Cleveland Cavaliers at home, a game that I actually will be in attendance for. I'm really excited to be back at the Garden. And man, this was a great victory, and I'm still living off the high. So this was a team effort from D-Rose, from the defense, from Julius, from uh, R.J. Barrett, and Nerlens Noel. Um, Emmanuel quickly had a great performance. Obi Toppin, it was just an overall... 110% effort type of performance from the New York Knicks. So let's get into some individual performances, starting off with Julius Randle having a very good performance for the New York Knicks. I know that some people are getting a little concerned about Randle. A couple games, he's been a little out of it, turning the ball over. Look, his body language is lacking a little bit. He's not shooting well from the field at all. Where tonight, he had one of those stereotypical Julius Randle performances from last year. He finished with 32 points, 12 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 block shots, 11 of 22 from the field. So this is vintage Julius Randle. Randall. He got to his spots. He was hitting the mid-range shot. 
He was bullying people down low, getting the second chance opportunities in the paint. And that was another thing about this, this game in terms of the team aspect. We got a lot of second chance opportunities and we crashed the boards very well. So shout out to this entire Knicks team when it comes to getting those second chance opportunities. But for Julius Randle to really go on national television, on ESPN, the whole world's watching, going up against the defending world champions, the finals MVP, Giannis Antetokounmpo, and for him to put up these numbers is a really good sign for Julius Randle that last year was not a fluke. He even knows he's gonna have those ups and downs like he's not perfect even though Julius had that sensational season last year he's still gonna have some rough patches that's just the reality of basketball any player in the world is gonna be going those ups and downs and Randall has been going those ups and downs and tonight he had a very good performance willing this team back playing great defense locking it down in the paint crashing the boards and putting the ball into the hoop by giving us 32 points now going over Derek Rose off the bench he finished with 23 points eight boards four assists 10 of 18 from the field, two steals for Derrick Rose. This was a great performance from him. You guys heard what I had to say earlier in the video. D Rose was, I think, the reason why we even sparked the comeback. When D Rose got in the game early in the second quarter, he really ignited this offense. He got everybody playing together. Everything was uh, moving in motion because if you guys remember, the three pointers were just not falling at all for us in the first quarter. And we didn't really rely on the three pointers at all this game. And that's what's awesome because it felt like the Knicks, we always say, okay, when the Knicks, three-pointers are not hitting what's plan b are they going to be able to execute it well tonight is a perfect example of that because the three-pointers were not falling in the first quarter they adjusted and for the rest of the game they went back to playing half court grinding those possessions out pick and roll attacking the paint you know they obviously hit some three-pointers but were not relying on it like they were in the first quarter that's a great sign so d rose was the orchestrator he was the floor general of this entire comeback and he deserves so much credit for not only willing this team back to win but for getting to the basket hitting his jump shots finishing with the left hand with the right hand great performance from d rose all around and then rj barrett with his fourth or fifth game in a row by scoring 20 plus points i think it's five games in a row he finished with 20 points seven boards three assists 8 of 21 from the field. So RJ did not have the best performance when it comes to efficiency, but that's okay. I'm okay with RJ Barrett putting up 21 shots because that means that he's getting aggressive and that means that he has the green light in order to do that. I feel like RJ is breaking out this year. He's showing it every single game. He is shooting the ball with confidence. He's shooting dribble pull-ups. He's shooting dribble um, step backs. He's getting to the rim. He's finishing through contact. There were some times where RJ missed some easy shots in the paint, but like I said, it's going to be up and down for each player we cannot expect these guys to go out there and just be 110 percent efficient every single game if you look at what rj barrett did in his first four games prior to this one his efficiency was through the roof i mean shooting over 60 percent from the field over like 55 percent from downtown like those numbers are not going to last so it's okay that rj did not have the greatest night in terms of efficiency he impacted the game all over the place crashing the boards getting three assists getting 20 points playing really good defense rj barrett continues his great play in year number three and then when it comes to Kemba Walker and Evan Fournier. I'm going to talk about them both combined in this one because they both struggled. And that's a really good, not, it's not a good sign that they struggled, but what I'm trying to say is it's a good sign that even when these two guys, Kemba Walker and Evan Fournier, when they struggled, you know who stepped up? Derrick Rose and Emmanuel Quickly, the other backcourt that came off the bench. They did a great job filling in for the ice cold Evan Fournier and Kemba Walker. Uh, Fournier had only seven points. Kemba Walker only had five points. You know, it's disappointing that these two guys are going through a little rough patch of their own. I got full confidence because remember, guys, Kemba Walker was scorching hot to start the year, shooting like 60% from downtown. That was going to eventually, you know, he's going to come down to earth, and that's exactly what's happening right now. But it's a good thing that we have guys off the bench to fill in the void if the shots are not falling for them. And then Mitchell Robinson, he had a good game. You know, he had 21 minutes of action, four points, six boards, one dime, and two block shots. I mean, that's all I want from Mitch at any given night. Give me your 110% effort on the defensive side of things. Two or three from the free throw line. You got to give Mitch credit there. Um, so Mitchell Robinson did his thing. And when it comes to Emmanuel quickly... He had nine points, one assist, two rebounds, four of nine from the field, and three steals for Emmanuel quickly. He had a very good game tonight. I know that he's coming off a really rough patch. I mean, the entire season has been rough for Emmanuel quickly when it comes to his shooting percentage and everything about IQ has been slow. But tonight, we saw him hit a crazy three-pointer at the end of the, the second quarter, I believe, or the third quarter, one of the two. He looks like he's in rhythm. He's making defensive plays. He is getting his teammates involved. He's driving to the rim. He's making some tough shots. 
Really good sign that Tom Thibodeau continues to trust Emmanuel quickly, even though he is in a little rough patch of his own, and I feel like he's going to get out of it. So it's a really good sign that IQ's played this well tonight. Uh, Nerlens Noel, 24 minutes of action. He was the guy that locked down Giannis. I think he was the guy that was the anchor of the defense that really sparked his comeback. And Nerlens Noel finished with 6 points, 13 rebounds, 1 block, and 3 steals. Let's go. This is what Nerlens Noel does. We missed him earlier in the season. Taj Gibson did a great job filling in for him. But this is what Nerlens Noel brings to the table, that defensive versatility. Tom Thibodeau gave Nerlens Noel even more minutes than Mitch because Nerlens was all over the place. He has those active hands. Like, he's going to poke the ball out. He's all over the place. He's a great rim protector. Love to see Nerlens Noel making a big impact. Obi Toppin, he finished with six points, two boards, one of five from the field, and one block shot from Obi Toppin. Um, and then that's, that's really it, guys. Uh, for the individual performances so overall this game was all about the Knicks showing that they have that resiliency they do not give up even when they're down 22 they were down 22 points and then they were up 22 points that's a 44 point swing that's a remarkable job from the New York Knicks from top to bottom the coaches the players everything about this game was awesome you know the first quarter was rough I think every Knicks fan had the same exact thought coming through their head what's going on but the next three quarters were phenomenal they played great Knicks gritty defensive basketball and that's the best thing that i think i'm taking away from this game guys is we won this game with defense we locked down the milwaukee bucks at the end of this game and that's how the knicks won so many games last year and we've been struggling on the defensive end so far this season so it's a very good sign that the defense is back and nerds noel i think is a really good uh part of why this Knicks team came back and his defense is so important to this team. So guys, leave a comment down below your thoughts about this game. Look, I would love to hear what you guys have to say and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Let's go Knicks. Peace.